guys, I'm in my garage getting ready to do an oil change on my 2015 Chevy Tahoe LT with the 5.3 liter. I still probably have about 40% life left in my oil, but that's about where I like to change mine. It's up to you to, to uh, know when and decide where you want to change yours, but I thought I'd walk you through the process. All right, so the things you'll need it's about eight quarts of uh, oil right here. I'm going to be running the mobile one up in here this time. The 0W20 weight. Uh, I have my five quarts over here. And this right here will pick up the other three. This is what I had left over from the previous oil change. So I'm just going to use the rest from there. You're also going to need the, uh, the, the oil filter. Uh, get the um, Advance Auto Deal. Uh, got this oil change, the premium one. Uh, Car Quest, they didn't have the mobile one, but this is supposed to be equivalent, at least that's what they say, uh, which is 84, what's that, 502. Uh, you'll need one of these, which will help out in order to take the uh, oil filter off. Um, so it'll really just kind of just go over the top right there to help take it off better than those little like clamp type ones. And I believe this right here is, what is that, 76? Yep, 76 millimeters, that's the size on here. So hopefully the uh, other oil filter is the same size, I think it is. And you'll need your ratchet right here. Now, this right here is what, a 15? So a 15 millimeter. And of course you need your drain pan and it's good to have some type of funnel to uh, put the oil back in. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and get this thing started. All right, so the first thing I like to do is just go on up here and take off the, um, the cap over here to put the oil in. I like to take it off so it helps the oil drain out a little bit quicker, all right? So now we're going to go underneath and we're going to start draining the oil before removing the filter, the old filter. All right, as you can see, I got the uh, the driver's side jacked up just a little bit. I use my floor jack. It's high enough where you don't have to have it jacked up, but, um, you know, a bit of extra room never hurts. So I have it jacked up on. This is the best side to, to enter in from the driver's side because uh, everything's kind of pointed this way. So let's get up underneath there and uh, get this changed up. All right. All right, as you can see right there, there is the filter right there. That's the one we're gonna be taking off. And for draining, as you can see right below it, right there, that's the drain. All right, so I adjusted the light a little bit to give you guys a better view right here. So I'm just gonna take my 15 millimeter, put it on there and start to unscrew it. And I'm gonna pull my drain pan over now since I got it loosened a bit. Get it underneath there so it can catch that oil. It doesn't drop straight down, it kind of streams out a little bit first. So you wanna make sure to put your pan in a way that it's gonna accommodate for that uh, that arc that will be there as it flows out. I just got through driving it, so it is hot oil. So my suggestion would be to let the oil cool off before doing this, but I'm a knucklehead, so what are you gonna do about it, right? All right, I think it's loose enough where I should be able to just do it by hand. I'm going to switch over and do it. Make sure my plug in the uh, my catch bucket is out. <laughs> that would be a big mistake. Won't have any place for the oil to go once it's landing in there. Try not to be in the uh, direct flow once it comes out because that's going to be some, some hot oil. I 
No one wants to get me. Will likes to get you. There we go. All right. See it coming on out there. Get that dirty oil out of there. So we're gonna just do is just let all that drain on out and then we'll take the filter off. All right, you can see now we're starting to come down to a slight trickle. So I like to get as much oil, old oil out of there as possible. One may even argue that it's better to jack it up from the other side so that the oil flows towards the hole, but I'm not doing that. I'm going in from this side, easy and easier for me. All right, so now as you can see, I put an extension on here to get better access to be able to get the old filter off. So we're just gonna put it on there and we're just going to uh, start working it off. So I'm gonna let the oil keep draining as I'm taking the filter off. And keep the drain pan your catch pan beneath it, as you can see. Works out better that way to keep it. Get that out of the way. Let a bit of that come on out of there before I Take it all the way out. Try not to uh, block the camera here while I do this. Screw that. There we go. Pour that old oil out of there. Preparation to uh, put the oil filter back on, the new one. We're going to fill it with a little oil. That'll help make sure you don't have that dry start when you first start it up. So we're going to pre-fill it with a bit of oil. Be careful. It doesn't take oil very quickly. Um, so it tends to sometimes spill over. So take it slowly. Don't try to think it's just gonna take oil real quick. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna pre-fill it a bit. Taking it slow. And what you also want to do too is take some of that oil and put it on your finger and just pre-lube the, uh, the gasket right here. Just like that. All right. So now this is all ready to go back on. So what we're going to do, we're going to climb underneath, uh, put the filter back on and put the bolt back in. All right, now that it stopped dripping as much, I'm gonna go ahead and take the bolt here and put it back in.
Don't use any air tools for this. Please just first tighten it by hand and then just take your wrench and do it. Do not use electrical power tools or air tools to do this part. Trust me, you'll regret it in the end. And I like to just put the same amount of pressure on it that I used to take it off. I don't take my car to any of those uh, oil changing places. They'll jack your stuff up. All right, now we're gonna take the oil filter. Remember we put some oil up in there. And we're going to, let me see if I can get hot in this spot for you guys. Don't over tighten this. Um, there's different rules of thumbs for how tight you should get it. Uh, you have to figure out which one best for you. I've seen like once you make that good contact, turn it another one and a half turns. Uh, there's different ones. Um, I just say figure out which one that works best for you so that you're comfortable with your end result. So now that I have that on here, I'm going to uh, take the This right here, put it back on there. And then get my wrench and tighten that up. And I'm also going to make sure to tighten my bolt down as well. Uh, and then we're gonna go up and put some oil in it, okay? All right, so now we're, now we're at the point where we wanna fill the uh, new oil in. And so we're gonna take our funnel and people please make sure to uh, clean off the tips of your funnel clean out the inside before you start pouring new oil in to make sure there's no old contaminants down there from whatever you may have used it for last time. So we're gonna put that on up there. And as you can see, I got oil on my sleeve, but this is my, my shop jacket, so it's okay. And I'll clean that up in a moment. So we're gonna take some fresh oil and we're gonna start pouring it in. So we're gonna fill that up and top it off. All right, so I put exactly eight quarts in and I'll have to check to see if I need to top off any more. So I'm just putting the uh, cap back on. There we go. And then we'll check our oil over here. We'll take the dipstick out, it's a very long dipstick. And we're going to end up checking to see where we are. I know it's kind of difficult with clear, new clean oil to tell exactly what it is, but we'll clean our dipstick off and check to see that it is lining up. You see those two nubs right there? I'm sure you can see them. See it? One, two. You want to make it all the way up to the second one. You got the tip, then you come up to that first nub. And then you want to get to that second nub. In between that is one quart's worth of oil. So if you ever get down to that first nub, that means you need to add a quart of oil. All right, so we're going to clean it off, check it, make sure we're nice and good. And the other thing, too, is down underneath, clean it all off underneath. Any oil that may be around the bolt, any other parts underneath there, uh, the oil filter, clean it all off so it's nice and clean. So whenever you do a visual, for the next couple of days, just to make sure you don't have any oil leaks, you'll be able to tell right away. So make sure to clean that off. But uh, now we're gonna go inside and reset the uh, oil light, okay? All right, so now we're inside and we wanna reset the oil. All right. So we'll start her on up here and we'll walk you through the process, okay? So the first thing you want to do is just bring up the menu. All right. And you see I'm cycling through right here, okay? So just cycling through. And you see the remaining on the oil. 
All right. So now we're going to go sideways over here. Push this button over here. And you see that reset? All right. And you see we got that check button in the middle too to, to, to do that. So we're going to hit the reset. And you see now it's back to 100%. And that's as simple as it is for resetting the oil. All right. So uh, if you like this, hit the like button. And please hit the subscribe button. I have a lot of... Uh, YouTube's out there for working on not only my Tahoe, but some of my other cars as well. All right. Thanks for joining.